Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to an exciting edition of the Kappa Women's Super Cup. Today we have thrilling action as a clash between two sides from different divisions as Brisbane City, currently leading the FQPL1 table, take on South United, battling it out in the top division in the NPLW. The stage is set here. It is a great atmosphere at the Imperial Corp Stadium. Well, Brisbane City have been a force to be reckoned with in their division, displaying remarkable dominance and um, with a flawless record. So far this season, they have been finding the back of the net with incredible frequency, notching an astounding 60 goals while conceding just seven this season. It has been nothing short of outstanding. But today they face the challenge of going up against a side from the league above. But they've already knocked out an NPLW side in Sunshine Coast Wanderers. And as we all know, anything can happen in cup football. The magic of the cup, as the underdogs are always poised to create moments of magic. 
On the other side, we have last year's finalist, South United. They enter this clash with contrasting narrative in the MPLW. They currently sit seventh place after the 14 games, securing three hard fought victories. Their journey has been slightly more challenging. They've scored 11 goals while conceding 27. Well, cup competitions do have a way of levelling the playing field. South United will be determined to make their mark against their high flying opponents in the division below. South United did get through after that hard fought victory over QAS by three goals to two in the last round. Well, this electrifying encounter is live on FQTV. Thanks for joining me, Alan Crow, as we experience the passion, excitement and drama that comes with cup football. Well, buckle up and get ready as South United will get us off and running as these two sides go head to head for a chance to advance to the next stage in the Kappa Women's Super Cup. The referee in charge is Paul Navretti and he will blow his whistle to get us on the way. And we are off and running. South going from right to left in the dark green colours. Oh, Brisbane City in the historic light blue, sky blue colour. Be interesting to see how this game unfolds. Two good sides, what a good talent in both ranks. Our oh, Cashman losing out there to the strong challenge. The tattoo. Play up all over a stop, but it's picked up by the captain Riley. So they try and break as well, but Taro picks it up. There's Darwin. Boxed in there, the linesman eventually giving the foul. Imperial Corp Stadium under the lights. Didn't have it any other way. Here on a Tuesday night. It's Franco. There's Brooke taking it, but unable to find the ball into Watkins. looking through to find Stoke but Signe picks that one up Darwin up now to Watkins Levine almost getting onto that one but Brisbane City quickly able to mock up there's Dylan now from one end to the other Here's a bristling pace now, a big chance now for Seti. There's a left foot short and it just goes by the post. 
Big chance there's Thompson using her pace. Get in behind. Does really well. Up on her own. No real support. Had to go for goal there, Thompson. Couldn't quite hit the target. Then a flash of goal for the home side. Levine looking inside and Davrin losing out and it's a little chance now possibly for City it's a nice little ball through and it's a huge save from Warner Fryer who got in behind there from one end to the other catch that one again wonderful ball through huge save from the South's keeper. Kramer unable to pick anyone out with that ball down the line. Two big moments for Brisbane City. And they are looking the more dangerous side in this early spell at home. In front of their home support. Utatio back to Warner. It's well intercepted. And his Watkins. Watkins still going possibly, but City just doing enough. And they finally make the clearance. It's Franco. Levine. Well played by Fryer. Out to Cashman. A little bit of space here perhaps. Looks to float that one in. It's not a bad ball too. Walking extremely hard. Shifting back on to the right. Now Dylan chases that one up. Back out there to Kramer. Tries to float it in with the left foot. So he's defending well so far. Back to Warner. At the back of the head. Looked a sore one there. It comes off Levine, but it's still a chance, possibly for City. Levine looks in a little bit of pain there. One by City again. It's a nice turn from Stokes. Ball out. So it's left side now. It's Kramer. Couldn't get away from Vecchio. Kramer uses her strength well. Referee plays on. It comes in to Fryer. Still a chance though, possibly. And it breaks this time. And it's in the back of the net. Latham with the goal, and City strike first, the high-flying Brisbane City strike first here on Tuesday night. Kappa Women's, Sup Women's Super Cup action. It's a fine finish. Latham with the goal, and City take the lead once again against their NPLW opponents. And they have been the better side in this opening 
eight minute spell and they deserve to be in front well, so United yet to get going but here's a little bit better by them here's Watkins got a few options in the centre Watkins plays it in but it's dealt with and Dylan lays it off quickly as City looked to go from one end to the other, but that's just picked out by Vecchio. Smith going long. Again looking for Watkins and she gets it better. Again, Watkins floats it in and there's no one in the centre for Souths. That goes to the far post. Tarry Oden, brilliant. Now Franco. Bringing the ball and it's cleared. Only as far as Levine with a right foot strike. Saved by Sunderland. A little bit better from South United. Just kind of broke nicely there for the shot from Levine. So I just need to put a little bit more pressure on the ball and they're starting to do it and <laughs> and they get the just rewards further up the field that goes all the way back to Sunderland nothing comes of that chance for South but they need to start to pick a little bit of momentum Seen it so many times this season where Brisbane City can just go on and score two or three goals in a flash. Levine. Smith playing it forward, but it's intercepted. Again picked up. Brilliant pass that. Nothing comes of that too. That was a wonderful ball over the top. Asking a hell of a lot. Little fryer, but does get the ball across goal. Being under the pressure, having to go back. Thumped away by Riley. All the way. At the park. Pressure from South to trying to win the ball in the other end of the field, and they do brilliantly. Here's Davrin. Look, they play it over at top, and Levine might get onto it using her body well, but the flag was up as the sliding challenge comes in. Referee claiming there was a, a foul just before it. Did look a little bit high there. Referee, in fairness, was quick to make the decision. As Watkins trying to turn. There's Le Levine. That's intercepted. Brooke coming across. But now again here to Levine. Taro playing it over the top, but is picked out again by City. And they do have numbers here, City as well. Here's Fryer. Always happy to go onto the left foot. 
Leaning it across and a shot blocked there by Dillon. Shot by Dillon, blocked by Brooke. It does go out for South throw. Watkins back to Brooke. Vecchio trying to get onto that, but that will go all the way to Sunderland. And a pass just gives it away. Some options now for South. Levine. Utaro. Back with her now, and she's taking a heavy touch, and it's been picked off. Again, City look to try and break quickly. It's a nice. Leibon Fryer out here. Big moment for the second. And City score two goals. One into the other. 14 minutes played here. And the FQP on one side are beginning to run away with this one. Well, we've talked that Risen City can just score quick fire goals and run away with it. And now two goals to the good. There's Fryer. We'll break a ball there. Thompson. Delivery straight to Warner. Some finish by Fryer. So it's really struggling to get out, to get any meaningful points of possession. It's all been Brisbane City in the dangerous areas. They're just a little bit sharper and quick to the ball. And sometimes as expected from sides playing with utter confidence. Thompson playing that back and Watkins might latch on to it. Strong defending by Riley. Franco. Side to Signet. Trying to find Watkins. Now Smith out to Brook. Vecchio coming short. Very composed defending. From the home side, they've raced into a dream start. Two goals up. There's Levine looking for the one two, trying to get it back. She's under the pressure from Cashman. Cashman does superbly well and comes away, skipping past two challenges, but gives away possession when it counted. Tario. It's caught in the middle of that. It's well played by Stokes. And Riley. Well, South United needing a spark. They really made it tough for himself already in these early stages. Two goals down. It's Brooke just knocking that one out of the park.
That's given away once more. It's Warren now. So a good pass out here to Brooke. Brooke looks inside now to Watkins. Heavy touch by Watkins. And Brisbane City have it back. Franco trying to keep that pressure alive. That's picked up well by Levine. Back with Smith and she does win the foul. And relieve the pressure off the back line as Brisbane City really eager to get possession back whenever they lose it. Has been a season of change for Souths. She here over half the playing squad moving on. The start of the season. There's a relatively young squad as well. Most squad averaging between 17 and 22. There's a bit of a learning curve. There is Fryer, Lanny Fryer. Lindsay throwing. Dealt with there by Smith. Thumped away again. Riley. Composure. Right to Kramer now. Was it to Brooke, but possession won swiftly back by City. Referee correcting decision there, make sure it's a throw in for City. Kramer will get his back on the way. Way by Brooke, picked up by Kramer. Souths will try and break quickly now. Out right again here to Levine. Cashman coming short. Daver now again to Brooke. Vecchio, Brooke. Now Watkins. Able to find the return pass. Carry on the pressure straight away. City very good at that. Not allowing Saus any time on the ball to get the rhythm going. Very much about the high press. Nice turn by Franco. Pass to Vecchio's intercepted and Dylan. Is that off? Right, the goal scorer losing out on the ball. Now Riley. Out to Cashman. Heavy touch by Cashman. South trying to post on the opportunity here. They have done Levine. Levine driving into the box. Got Watkins in the box too. If she could pick him out. But it's well defended by Brisbane City. And nothing comes of that as the ball goes all the way through to Sunderland. Great control.
There's Levine. Franco looking for options. City really breaking out quickly. Now Smith. Brooke forward to Watkins. Nice control by Watkins. Lays that one off. That's Kramer that comes away with it. Now Fryer. Try and use our pace on this left side. The Kramer. Riley just getting that one away. Tavarin on the turn. Plays it over the top. Vecchio trying to get on to it. That's well worked by the home side. Kramer. That space here for Fryer. Inside, looking for the one two, but out it goes. It's Cashman back with Riley. Ball pumped over the top, trying to find Stokes. Stokes in the infold.
has been a dominant opening half hour by the home side. Eventually, Warner comes and collects. Is Brooke. Switching it to Levine. Levine switching it back across to Vecchio. And she keep it in, but unable to bring it under control. And Kramer sees it out. A throw for City. Well, South will be disappointed. And their opening half hour, not really being able to trouble Warner. It's a couple of long range attempts. There's a good chance to create something here for South to find a way back into the game. It's powered into the box, but it comes to nothing as it bounces off Davrin. Smith to Rood. Itario. Well, Watkins picks it up, lays that off to Levine. A little bit of room now, Itario into the box. Turns brilliantly, looking for some options, tries to fire it in. Does take a reflection, Levine. Trying to get onto it, but Riley back defending and doing really well. And City defend that brilliantly. Now here is Fryer. Uses Kramer. Well defended this time by South United. A loose pass and it's picked off brilliantly by Thompson, but she couldn't find anybody. Really put it back into dangerous areas. Thompson has it now. Worked really quick. Here's Stokes. It's far to the edge area. The right foot strike, and that's a big save by Warner. Rude forced to turn it round. Well picked out. Decent attempt as well. And Watkins. Tadio trying to force it up. Watkins nudged in the back and the referee does... Bring that back for the foul on Watkins. Well, Brisbane City in control of the Kappa Women's Super Cup round at the moment. Is a long way back here. Oh, so it's away from home. And City looking to break quickly again.
Cashman. Back with Cashman. Work well, here's Kramer. Fryer trying to get onto that, but Brooke will be the first one there. She tries to see it out for a goal kick and does just enough. Well, Brisbane City with that incredible 60 goals scored in their FQP1 division. They're walking over anyone that stands before them. And they're on course again here with a terrific first 35 minutes. They have South exactly where they want them. Here's Watkins using Vecchio. Signe just beaten to the ball. Stokes tries to pick someone out. Watkins has it. She's crowded out and then the shot comes in from range from Franco. Isn't troubling Sunderland in goals, but we have a shot and goal from South United. They look like to be a crack. And a little bit of frustration. So pick up the ball under the high press, and there's a shot from Rangers. A wonderful goal from Sydney, and South are right back in this game. They knew it would take a moment of magic and it comes completely out the blue. Sunderland wasn't expecting that one. It's a fantastic strike. And relatively out of nowhere, we have a game on our hands at the Imperial Corp Stadium. Wonderful strike. Brisbane City were really having it all their own way. Nice house looking for a quick far equaliser, Yataro. Into Franco. Now Brooke. Watkins trying to get on to that, it's thumped away. Looking for Watkins again, she might try and squeeze it. He's claiming the foul there, but nothing given on that one. South looking for a way back into this game. And Levine. Smith. Ayutaro. Looking to squeeze it here for Watkins. Looking for some options, goes down. Looking for a foul, the referee in the end. Going for the handball and not surprisingly, Watkins a little bit frustrated. Was a little bit of afterwards. Referee haven't quite worked with both of them. No cards used.
some confusion there from the referee and the players as to what the decision was. Initially, it looked like he was saying a full throw, but just wanted to throw and take it a little bit further back. That's fine play from Franco, but City look to have it back. South starting to really put a little bit more pressure on this game, a little more fight towards the end of the second half. to Riley Just giving it again Brooke driving forward Watkins looking for it the pass intercepted by Dylan. again it's lost out Franco turns a challenge into Watkins bounces off Watkins there now City have it and they'll look to Brick quickly with the pace here, Fryer. Blocked off though by Vecchio. It's Kramer's throw. All the way through to Rood. Vecchio trying to win that back for City. for some free kicks there but South have a space again now Watkins Kramer coming back to mop up on the dangerous attack now from one end to the other City look to break quickly and there is space now for Thompson Thompson dinks it in really early but there's no one in there no one keeping up with it that's given away and a big chance there as it breaks here for Stokes. As Warner really just giving the ball straight to Stokes from the throw. And Franco, Vecchio, Watkins making inroads. It looks for Watkins. This goal with Roto Levine, but Cashman strong in the challenge as Souths look to find an equaliser just before half time. Itatio back with it. No movement in front, has to go back. Rude. In a way. Watkins working extremely hard, wins possession, Levine shifting on to the left, back to the right, Levine back on to the left, Levine jinking into the box but good defending, eventually now City look to break quickly, and they lose out and that will surely be a foul, and it is. Franco in a little bit of pain in the middle of the park, but South just beginning now to show a little bit more creativity in the final third. Levine jinking left to right before City holding on. On by Smith, cleared by Cashman. Fine little touch there. Fryer playing it in. That's a fine touch again by Fryer, but South back defending. Stop that chance. Kramer using her body well. He gets the challenge in and it goes out for a goal kick. Well, at one moment in that half, you really felt like Brisbane City might just go on and run away with this one. But Souths, to their credit, got the goal back. Now looking 
to get back onto level terms. Arrow back into Watkins. Well, it's half time in the Kappa Women's Super Cup. It's half time, ladies and gentlemen. Brisbane City 2. In the Kappa Women's Super Cup. South United 1. It's Brisbane City 2 leading South United 1. What a cracking first half that was. Just a reminder, ladies and gentlemen, our full bar and canteen are open for your convenience this evening. We've got uh, pizzas, wood fired pizzas out in the beer garden as well, so be sure to pay them a visit during half time. We'll be back for the second half in 10 minutes.
Felton Industries is proud to be the official shelter and grandstands partner of Football Queensland. Felton offers a range of premium aluminium grandstands, from elite portable spectator seating to soccer team shelters for players and coaches. Give your fans the best view of the game with Felton's comfortable spectator seating. With sun-safe shelters or powder coated in your team colours, Whatever your club needs, Felton has a high quality, low maintenance seating option to suit. We are the pioneers in Australian made grandstands and team shelters. Contact Felton today on 1800 834 016 or visit felton.net.au. Pride themselves on delivering top quality FIFA regulation compliant goals. Each goal is made from durable, high density, thick aluminium and then finished in a white powder coat. To provide quick delivery, Vito Sport stock all goals in this range within their Brisbane distribution warehouse, allowing customers to quote, order and deliver in a matter of days. If you'd like to inquire about the Vito Sports goal range, email us at admin at vitosports.com.
Welcome back to the second half of Kappa Women's Super Cup action. Brisbane City leading South United by two goals to one. Brisbane City did have the better of the opening spell before a late fight back from South. And a wonder goal from Singh brought them back into the game. But City still in control as they get us off and running. The second half as a referee not quite happy with Watkins running into the box too early there. It will be a massive second half for them and for South. They can find a way back into this game. Brisbane City were quickly out the traps in that first half. And their high press. Really made a huge difference for them. Not surprisingly started to tire off towards the end of the half. But they look to regain their two goal lead early on. But well defended by Utato. Tato. Levine trying to break forward Watkins as well. Trying to use our body, Watkins, who's very strong. We play by by her back to sing the goal scorer. Itaro back to Watkins. And Singh getting pulled back. And the referee quite rightly pulling back for the free kick. The referee was quick to lose his footing there as well. Trying his best not to get involved. Now Utato finds Levine, skip past one challenge, Levine coming in on our right foot, now Davern, Franco back with it, knocks it over the top and that should be comfortably caught by Sunderland. Riley. Really good turn there from Stokes and now City have numbers. The wayside doing their defensive duty. And Fryer eventually getting the foul off our opposite number. The three just took an extra minute. Here's Jutaro breaking down the far side, looking for some options ahead. Here's Levine coming on the right foot. Looks for Franco for the one two. It's nicely worked. Levine. Kashmir battling hard with it. Comes back out to Levine. In on the right foot. Looking for Watkins, possibly. Does come to Watkins. Just crowded out there. Franco. Levine. Again coming in on the right foot. Fancies a shot. And it's saved down to the right side by Sunderland. This is a lot better from Souths. Just starting to get a little break of the ball. Levine coming in on the right foot. Not shy to have a crack. Forcing Sunderland into a good save. It's actually the first corner kick of the game for South United. There's a good delivery to and head towards goal. And it's found the back of the net. Was it put in there by Watkins? See again a replay, it's a wonderful corner kick. And South 
front, two goals down on back level. It's a tad unlucky as it deflects in, but Watkins does superbly well to get up. And South refusing to go quietly. From two goals down, it's 2 2. And we are in for a cracking remainder of this half. Cup football never fails to bring the thrills. So they look to go in front straight away. There's a run of Thompson bursting into the box. Working really hard to break quickly. Here's Brooke. Pass intercepted by Kramer. Here's Brooke again. Looking down the line for the one two. Vecchio trying to get onto it. Forces Lucania to knock it out for a throw. Referee just having a quiet word there with a couple of players just telling them to calm down. Brook with the throw. Vecchio. To Brook plays it in early. Not completely cleared is Franco. Franco goes for it. And it wasn't too far away for another outstanding goal. Franco is trying to place it this time. Up and over Sunderland. Not troubling. Are in the end, but wasn't too far away. So they look to play it from the back. Thompson pinched off Thompson. Really good stuff by Franco. Itato fires it across. And it was whipped in with some veracity. Sunderland controls it well. There's Levine, Franco. Ball through, looking for you. Vecchio. And Kramer. And South really up for this second half. Trying to find Watkins, it's cleared. Only as far as Brook. Now Smith. And looking for Watkins. Brook has it again. There's Riley. It's given away. Stokes working hard to win it for City. And she still has it. Referee ways play on. It's Thompson. It looked like it might have hit the hand, unfortunately, from Stokes, but it might have actually nicked Franco's hand as well. The referee blowing for the handball. Definitely did hit the hand. The referee not blowing for the initial free kick. Didn't deem it was a free kick.
I think the referee blew this one for a handball as well. Brisbane City have it. Here's Kramer. And South putting a lot of pressure on Brisbane City. They're not used to having this much pressure on them in games. Game again coming to a stop. Here's Riley. Is down holding her ankle here by the looks of it. Is you coming on? That'll be a massive, massive blow for Brisbane City. Solid centre half at the back. <coughs> so I just need to find a way to go in front. And a lot of the ball in the second half. Brisbane City have struggled to get out of the half, really. It's been opposites from that first 45 minutes that they'll be looking to pounce on this pressure said he tried to hold on for the moment both teams full of a lot of quality we know the quality that Brisbane City can possess Riley limping off the field and looks like City will be temporarily down to 10 players unless they opt to make the substitution And just like that, Brisbane City do make the change and Buzzle does come on to the park as Riley is unable to continue to play. Riley is a rock in that back four for Brisbane City. Tessa Buzzle coming on to replace her. And tries to kick the ball there I think and just end up knocking into a couple of players referee just making sure everybody is okay very stop start lately in the last five minutes or so game's not been able to have that flow Is Kramer. Gonna go forward. Fryer winning the foul. There's Dylan. Wants to float that into the box, it's picked up. Franco. Under a bit of pressure, looking for some support. So he's trying to play the way out of danger. Up towards Watkins. There's Vecchio and does win the foul there again. This controls it the first time. Just pull back. There's Brooke. Ekio flicks it on. Watkins trying to keep it alive, but that will just run out of play. Well, as we approach the hour mark, Brisbane City raced into a two-goal lead in the first half. So South worked really hard to 
Come back into this game live here on FQTV. Where else would you rather be than watching some top cup football? City look to break. There's Hummels. Uses a layoff of Kramer. There's Rude doing a defensive duties. Uh, winning a throw. Denying an opportunity for Lisbon City side. Tato given away from the throw. Sing over the top for Vecchio. Kramer looking back. So he's putting a lot of pressure on Brisbane City, but they work it really well under that press. And they've actually got some numbers forward now if the ball is key here. But it's just drifting into an offside position. That was a real opportunity for Brisbane City as well. They had numbers breaking forward. I think Linesman got that one spot on. And Smith giving it away. Turned by Fryer. Fryer working hard. Now here's Hummels. A few options in the centre, but the ball doesn't quite pick any intended targets. Home side trying to work their way back into this game. Souths have all the momentum. City looking to try and kill that. Here's Lucania. And to Dylan. Bit of a short pass from Dylan and Levine. Manages to intercept Davrin. Tato intercepted there by Kramer. Is Franco on the turn? Nicely worked from her. Vecchio. Is Franco. Singh. Davar works really hard to maintain possession. Utato looking for the foul and winning the foul as well. Brisbane City you know, a little bit frustrated out there. Doesn't work out well. It was a foul. Here's Brooke. Inside towards Franco and City Low might come away with it here. Again, they had numbers forward there, City, but they couldn't quite pick out Thompson. Now Watkins run into a little bit of trouble, Watkins. Here's Levine. Vecchio. He wants it back, comes inside, but it's again, it's mopped up by Brisbane City, and they'll look to try and break from one end to the other quickly. It's defended well. Davron just gives it right back to City. Once again, they have numbers four. That's a great ball through, and the referee had to flag up, though. Looked a very, very close one. Initial viewing, I thought the linesman got it spot on. Very difficult call there. Not surprisingly, City looking to make a change.
hasn't gone to plan in this second half for the home side. And it looks like they will force into another change here as they try to regain their advantage. They worked so hard to go two goals in front. There's your tattoo into Levine. Lloyd's looking to come in on that right foot. Franco now. A little bit of space for Franco. Fancies a shot there, Franco, but wasn't trouble in Sunderland. Buzzo. Davin tries to come into it, but it comes back to City. Again, they have numbers rampaging forward here. There's Fryer looking for the one two. Delivery into the box. Brooke looking to mop it up, still alive. Those Stokes. Delivery by Thompson. And it is a wonderful save from Warren and Air off Thompson. It's what you need your keeper to do. I think Thompson's just trying to float this one in towards the back post. End up going. Towards goal, huge stop from Warner. Well, that is City's first real opportunity of the second half. And it comes to their first corner of the match. Can they regain the lead? There's a right foot delivery towards that near post. It's headed on. Watkins looking to lay it off. With Davern and Franco and Levine there too. Souths do have it. Comes out now to Vecchio. Watkins making the run forward, but it's a difficult pass to make from Vecchio. Trying to pick out Watkins. Stevenson is coming on for Cashman. Substitution for Brisbane City. Brisbane City trying to find a way to get back in front. Looks like it might be a change of formation as well for the home side. There's Brooke flicked on. Watkins trying to get in there. It's well defended. Played it again. It's met by City. They try and play their way out from the back. Picked up though by Brooke. And Watkins trying to run onto that as well. Now Dylan. Vecchio, the one two. Vecchio just out muscled by Kramer. Nicely turned by Thompson. Thompson plays it through. She might have just been fouled. Just as she played that pass, fouled by Franco. Referee having a quick word with it. A couple of fouls there by Franco now in the middle of the park. It's definitely late. There's Dylan over this one. Turn by Thompson, cleared. Well by Smith. 
Singh flicks it on, looking towards Levine. Played by Rudd. And now here's Stevenson. Stevenson jinking away. There's Thompson. Thompson lets fly. Warner. Look to have that one covered. One from City. Both players fighting hard for the ball now. Here's Kramer. Looking inside is a turn. Hamels is a wonderful ball through. Big chance now here for City. It's surely the goal. And it's on a plate. And Stevenson, the substitute, has given Brisbane City the lead. It was very, very unselfish there from Fryer, turning the keeper and casually putting it on a plate for Stevenson. And with 20 minutes to go, Brisbane City regain their advantage. Well, it hasn't been the best of second halves for Brisbane City. But they've scored when it matters most. And now South have to do it all again. Here's Lacania. Right, Dylan. Right to Buzzo, Buzzo. Back to Sunderland. Singh, Franco, Ayutaro. Back in towards Levine. Stevenson clears it. Now from one end to the other again. Big chance here, City. Hamill's trying to find some room, which is up on the own, asking a lot there of Hamill's. There's Levine skipping past the challenge. Getting to the box and winning a corner. And South looking to draw level for the second time of the game. 15 minutes left to play here in the Kappa Women's Super Cup. There's Levine to take. Watkins is in there again. 
Not as good delivery as the first one. City really deal with that relatively easily. As you tattles throw. And sing. And so she yet to make any changes. Ball might have just caught on the throat there. There's a chance for South to get the ball into the box. Can they make something happen? Less than 50 minutes to go now here in the Imperial Cop Stadium. City back in front. Here's a delivery flicked on towards goal. Saved easily by Sunderland. Has been some cracking goals. Brisbane City adopting the time wasting tactics already here at home to their. NPLW counterparts. Stevenson just caught on the turn there by Singh. Still no changes made by South as we approach. Final 10 minutes closely. Prison City are in control yet again. As the prolific FQPL one side continue the goal scoring form is Stevenson. Back to Dylan. On this right side. So they still keep pressure on. They win it real high up the park. And they might have numbers forward. Franco turning back though. Finds Vecchio. Now Brook. Brook floats it in, but possession given up. Well, Hummels has made a huge difference up front for City since coming on. Referee just checking in on the health and well-being of some of the city back line. It's Kramer. Here is Brooke, South needing another bit of magic. It does appear like that Brisbane City goal has just knocked the stuffing out of them for the moment. And they work so hard to pull level. But Brisbane City are just clinical finishers. Becchio just fouling Thompson. And that'll waste some more time for the home side. And they're not in any hurry at all to take this as Kramer. Oh, 
Best of kicks from Kramer. And now Vecchio has it, but gives it straight back to City. Delightful from Thompson. Runs into Brook. Singh. Now Levine. Might fancy it to the left foot. It's a wonderful finish. And it is another absolute cracker in this game. And Levine has thundered South right back on level terms once more. A wonderful left foot strike. Absolutely no chance from Warner. And South once again level. And this is a beauty of a game of football. It's Brisbane City 3, South 3. And just as it looked like, City might have it. They might have it again, though. Here's Stevenson from one end to the other. And it's turned behind by Smith. This game really coming alive here. Stevenson, electric pace. Farther across, and it could have gone anywhere when it came off Smith. Taken quickly, Stevenson on the left foot. Has it towards that back post. And it's knocked out for a goal kick. Going to the referee. So deal with that one, Brooke. Just getting it away. Following just after the, the ball's been played there by Thompson. A little bit frustrated there. Broken a little bit of pain. It's a six goal thriller so far in the Kappa Women's Super Cup. Neither side are giving anything away. There's Levine almost losing out. Now Watkins finds Vecchio. Back to Davran. Sing Levine. Levine still going. Referee in the end. Pulling up the foul. Less than seven minutes to go in this absolute cracker of a cup game. Given away by Smith. Levine scored a absolute worldly. They draw them level. Here's Hummels. Surprisingly leaving it for Buzzle. Turn well by a coin. Watkins trying to work her magic into Levine. Levine's shifting back onto left foot. This coin with a shot and it's a good save. Again by Sunderland. Really good positioning from the Brisbane City goalkeeper. Not getting beat to that near post. Now Brook.
Kramer just crowded out there. Forced into making the mistake, Brooke, quickly. Becky will trying to flick it on. Surely a foul on the back of Stevenson. Five minutes to go, both sides looking for the victory to get into the next round of the Kappa Women's Super Cup. Levine looking for the foul.
Yes, Golden still level at the end of the red. Tom will be. Great job, Sam! That will determine who goes through to the semi-final.
It was a thrilling 90 minutes of grippling football. And now extra time will decide between these two sides who goes through to the next round to the semi-final. A two wonder goals drew. South level Brisbane City thought they might just have nicked it when they went in front late in the second half. There's still a lot of football left to be played. And extra time. Who will come out on top? There's Watkins managing to almost find it through to Vecchio. Almost tries to get it across. There's a few in there waiting. And it actually is very dangerous. Thompson was making inroads towards that back post. The always lively Watkins. Watkins. Didn't make anything happen of it. His point was inside the box as well. Shot wasn't too far away up on the run. Pinched by coin two. One back quickly from City. There's Thompson. That's Stevenson. Shifting onto left foot. There's a few options in the middle of the park there. Stevenson. So dangerous when she's in that area of the park. Always looking to take someone on, find the space. Use her ability. Loved into boxes, a good ball. There's Fryer coming in at the back post. Who will step up to win this one? Extra time in the Imperial Corp Stadium. Six goals between these two talented sides. There's a tattle. Into Watkins. Find coin. Watkins has it back. Just out muscled. Brooke just getting a touch on that, getting away from Thompson. Here's Kramer. Stevenson, delightful done. Almost getting away. Wonderful piece of skill, Levine. Scored probably the goal of the game. Back with Smith. Just trying to find Brooke. Brooke just preventing it from going out. Watkins coming across to win it. And she might just have won a throw here. She has done.
There's Brooks throw. Becky will flat it across and it might break. And for Coyne, it's blocked away. Watkins tries to get in there. And City do enough as they look to try and break themselves as well here. Pulling back for that foul. Pulling the jersey. Trying to squeeze it through. That's going to lot here of Watkins. Kenny actually gives it up to Watkins. He's rude. The Taro. Into Watkins. Watkins turns onto her right foot, finds Levine. Gets past one challenge. Walks it onto her left. Oh, she was going to fancy the shot. Points, gets past one and two. Ball still in play here. Coin looks like she's in a bit of pain actually with that coming together. Both players utterly committed to the cause. Good sign, she's back onto her feet. A hundred minutes of football played here in Brisbane, the Kappa Women's Super Club. Brisbane City 3, South 3, two sides absolutely giving it their all to get to the semi-final South finalists in 2022. Stevenson can't quite bling that one down. It's caught behind her. And here's Brook. Looking for Vecchio, but beat by Kramer and back by Brook. Here's Vecchio. Well, Watkins wanted it, and she almost got away with it as well. Now Brook. Davern. There's Root. Shitaro. Looking for the one two, it's brilliantly worked. Vecchio <laughs> Watkins tries to play it quickly to Brook. So they do really well to work it away before giving it. Right back there to 
Souths who give it straight back to City. There's a lot of tired legs out there now. Well won though from Yutaro. Levine might fancy the shot here on the right foot. What a save that it is! And Watkins might bundle it over, but the flag appears to be up. And that won't be given. And it's bundled over. Wonderful save initially. And that won't be given a huge, huge moment for Souths. And it has been given as offside. Sunderland spilled it initially. Buzzle. Another mistake from City, but they have it back. By Dylan. And a lot of pressure on it. It's a foul as well. Didn't look like a foul from Vecchio. Again, quickly, it was actually a little trip there. Fryer again won by Yutaro for Watkins. trying to latch on to this here. Back to right foot comes back to Levine. He might try it again and scores again! There's another absolute worldly and Souths for the first time in this match and we're seconds to go till half time of extra time. Have turned this one around. Wonderful goal. And Brisbane City now have it all to do. It's their turn to try and draw level. Well, football, cup football especially, always produces magic. And this is no different. Huge, huge goal possibly for Souths. Is Anderson. Dante Kramer intercepted by Brook. Brook just playing it forward quickly. The crowd is getting lively here as we approach the halftime whistle. Souths. Re going in front for the first time. They've gone behind twice in this game. McKenna back to Sunderland. Mean picks it up. Plays it in nicely. Laid it off. Singh just trying to find that run. Referee does blow the halftime whistle of extra time. A absolute cracker. From Levine is the difference at halftime. Halftime here at Imperial Cup Stadium is Brisbane City 3, South United 4. Halftime of extra time. The second 15 minutes will be here shortly. Don't go anywhere.
haven't really said this at all this season, but Brisbane City are behind and they need to find a way back into a game. They are four, three down to their NPLW opponents. South have battled so hard to come back into this game and go in front despite going behind twice and being 3-2 down at one point. Brisbane City have the quality to go back in this game. There's no denying that. A huge 15 minutes left to play. Number 11, Georgia Thompson to be replaced by number 17, Sally Easton Coots. There is that substitution from Brisbane City as Thompson is replaced by Easton Coots. That will hopefully give the home side some more energy. Out wide, Thompson has been one of the big performers on the park. There's been a lot of good performance from both sides. And it has made a very entertaining game. Dylan almost getting caught there and has done his point. Trying to find Watkins. It's dealt with though from Buzzo. And closing out again now is Point. Point drifting into the box. Might have been fouled there. The referee says nothing in that. There's your Tato. Switching it out wide. Vecchio. Might have been again. Not quite hitting the target. So yeah, Coin. Might have possibly got the ball there. Eventually it does come back out. Levine on a hat trick, looking for a hat trick of long range goals. That would have been quite something. And here's Hummels. Trying to get away from Itaro. He does her defensive duties and wins the ball back as well. Knocking out of play, City looking for a hero now. That's turned round. It will be a corner kick for Brisbane City. Fair on that there with the delivery. Anderson. Please it through and South clear it. And Watkins trying to latch on to this here. She might get it. She's up on her own here. Watkins driving at the South back line. Watkins still going. Holds it up well for support. There's Levine going all the way back to a centre half. Is Smith in possession given back to Lucania. Walken does really well there. The ball through to her, up on her own, looking for some support. Does really well to hold it up. She can just waste some more time. Here's Brooke. Here's Vecchio. Doesn't quite keep that in. City have it back. Stevenson. Fouled by Brooke there, Stevenson. She's so quick footed, you always take a chance when you try to stick a foot in. Here's Stevenson again. Or Canto. Accepted from Utaro, but out it goes. 
Ten minutes to go. Imperial Corp Stadium. And Hamill's latching onto this. Got options in the middle. Stevenson. Far actually. Jotaro, a fine point. There's Watkins. Watkins pull back. Rakanto, needless foul there as well from the Brisbane City fullback. Watkins using her body well. Just get a pull and sheer frustration. Jotaro to take, she won't be in any hurry at all. Way by Dylan. Able to find Stevenson, it's just launch forward. The coin might get onto it, Rocanto. He's coming across. Forced to knock it out into touch. Taro into Watkins. Has to flick it on, but it will go out. So a goal kick for Sunderland. She has to take it quickly. Lucania. Into Stevenson. Stevenson jinkies away and is fouled. Smart foul there. From Singh. Not surprisingly, a yellow card as well. South United central midfielder. Professional foul. Stopping any momentum. As long it goes. Hooked on by Watkins. So it's not really resting on their morals. They're still going forward, hitting a high press, and it's almost allowed Hummels to get in behind. The South looked a little bit short. There's Anderson to bring it under control. She does well. Moses out to Levine. And Watkins. And from Rakanto, Watkins lays it back. A little bit of space here for Levine. Taro. Referee saying nothing in that. Vecchio surely following Anderson. Uh, claiming her innocence. Anderson, delightful turn. Hummels with a one two with Rocanto. Rocanto driving into trouble but gets away. Turned around by Yutaro, knocking the linesman flag out as well. some room here to make something out of this chance and it's finally 
turned round. For a corner now for Brisbane City. Anderson to take. Looking for a better delivery than the last one. Six minutes to go of regular time. There's Anderson. Stevenson brings it down inside the area. Tackle. Coming in from Coyne. Taking the ball as well. Was a bit of delivery in the previous one. Stevenson trying to make something happen. It's another throw for Brisbane City. South United holding firm. Way by Smith. Who will step forward for Brisbane City? Not surprisingly, players beginning to cramp on the field. 115 minutes of football at the Imperial Corp Stadium. The one goal separating the sides into the final five minutes in the Kappa Women's Super Cup quarterfinals live on FQTV. Tarot back to her feet. Size will temporarily be down to 10 players. Canto's throw. Fired across, blocked by Smith. It's another corner. Stevenson coming to take this one this time as Brisbane City piling the pressure on. Driven delivery, cleared at the front post. Watkins doing her defensive job. And she's driving forward and South rampaging here. They've got options to her right. Here's Levine, Watkins wants it back. Let's come back to Watkins. And it just was fired straight into her feet. But nevertheless, they waste enough time as Levine and Watkins between them. And South, a corner. She's needed to really roll into her. She tried to bring it under control. A good, strong challenge. South looking to waste as much time as possible. With three minutes to go of regular time, they're making also making a substitution by looks here. South. Bohan coming onto the park. Good delivery. Well, straight at the keeper. Needed someone running to that near post. It's Stevenson. Stevenson's coming past a few challenges. Kramer plays it through. Stevenson, Anderson there. They're just trying to wiggle it into the box. Here's Stevenson. Right now to Kramer. Surely that's a yellow card there. Fouled by Brooke. by Watkins there playing a wide back role with two minutes to go big chance for Brisbane City it's really getting to that stage of now or never for the home side over the wall and saved comfortably by Warner. 
Warner takes it out quickly too. Hamels just knocking that out. And that will waste valuable, valuable time for South United to waste here. As we're into the final minute of this thrilling contest in the Kappa Women's Super Cup. Good with a throw. Gohan. Is there enough time for one last chance for City? Watkins and Brooke out there trying to prevent anything from happening. Stumped away by Smith. Referee having a quick look. Having a quick look at his watch here. Game has temporarily stopped. Might be Rocanto down in a little bit of pain here right on the 120th minute mark. He's slowly drag her off the park. So play can continue. City looking for something. really is now or never time. Here's Stevenson. Going to squeeze it through. And Smith will let it run. Out for a goal kick. It's actually gone for a corner. And this really is one last throw at the dice for Brisbane City to save their cup football action. Sunderland coming up from the back. It is a decent corner too. Spilled in the box. Fall for Sunderland. South able to just get it away. Fans screaming at the referee here. Up and over now here for Coyne. Got Watkins through the middle. Skips past one challenge. And wins a foul, and that will surely be enough now for South in a remarkable turnaround here at the Imperial Corp Stadium. The away side will not be in any hurry at all to take this. to keep the ball out for this corner. Good play by Levine. And fouls in the end. City will have to take this quickly. Quickly it goes, but it's given away. Referee not liking it. And then quickly his ball never stopped rolling. Hero of the night for South. Time still ticking on here. Vecchio. And Stevenson trying to find some room. There's Levine. Referee having a little look at his watch. Now Brooke trying to find Watkins but gives it away. And the referee does blow the full-time whistle in extra time. 
What a remarkable game of football this has been. Harsh for Brisbane City as both sides really gave their all. But a wonder strike from the lean is the difference here in the Kappa Women's Super Cup. Two sides, two great footballing sides. It's finished here, Brisbane City 3, South United 4.